Hi YouTube, how are you guys doing? So this is an up update to my um, dual Xeon setup and as you can see I'm currently well this has been um, okay so let me start from the beginning um, this is my main system it's all a Corsair 900D and the current water water cooling system is still in there and uh, so we've got a larger reservoir got um, triple rad and then a double rad and various other things I didn't want to pull all that out um, while I was testing and also I don't want to put all this in there while testing so I just didn't want to do that but um, it just so happens I'm building another system in fact the old system that was in there but I'm going to water cool that and I got this for a steal on eBay so I got um, um, this is the EK L240 so for just just shy of £100 I got um, the um, res pump um, rad two fans and a CPU block but that's not in here so so for just shy, just shy of £100 I got um, this so I'm actually um, I've been um, leak testing this system been leak testing these two blocks and I can actually take the tissue off now it's been um, it's been um, testing overnight no leaks dry as a bone and um, so that's all good uh, and also I've been also I tested the system see if it boots up it does boot up really nicely and um, I'll show you that uh, in a second hi folks welcome back again and uh, about 10 minutes later um, is running at 100% all um, 32 threads are maxed out um, the, the temps are pretty reasonable it's a um, relatively chilly um, Sunday morning so if, uh, the ambient here is about 18 19 so uh, what the Delta is about 22 give or take um, yeah maybe about the 20 anything between 20 and 24 um, cause yeah so the water cooling is working which is nice um, I'm gonna keep it running for a lot longer uh, but nothing nothing nothing's hot to the touch um, no that's not even, that's I mean ever so slightly warm but I mean nothing to nothing to worry about but I'm gonna keep um, running it and see see um, if anything kind of cracks um, I don't expect anything to go wrong and uh, the water the, um, the leak test went fine and um, the, the blocks are fine oh um, the blocks so um, this was my original um, XSPC um, uh, Ray Storm block uh, that was in there and that was running a um, i7 3930k overclocked to uh, f what 4.5 4.5 you can go higher but I wanted something more stable um, and this is the um, uh, XSPC uh, Ray Storm V3 now the only difference I can see is um, the mounting is different so as you can see the mounting here was far easier than say this one so this is um, V1 mounting system and this is V3 mounting system um, and yeah um, I could have got another block blah 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 but I want them to kind of match I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep benching it and running it until it's um, well don't expect anything to happen um, hopefully no drama drama is bad um, and this little thing, I'm really impressed, really impressed about um, uh, how much it can actually cool. Um, okay, granted the fans are I'm running 100%, there's a quite a bit of wind there, like I feel quite a bit of wind, but the air isn't hot at all, which is quite nice. Um, so I've got to leave this running for about 10 or so minutes, oh maybe no, sorry, stupid, um, running for a couple of hours and then see what happens. If it, if it's, if it passed the test, then I'm going to drain the, drain everything. And then put it into the uh, 900D, bolt it all in, and then apply the uh, the water the cool bleh, the water cooling system I have in there already, and then apply this one to my other system. So hope that kind of makes sense. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Why is it so Why is it so black? Come on, there we go. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, any questions you may ask? Please. Any questions you may have? Please ask. 
I'm happy to um, put answer in the comments below. I'm not saying I know everything. I'm doing this project because I've never done a dual core system before, and that's the only reason I'm doing it. Um, I was perfectly happy with the 3930K. There's no reason to, <laughs> literally no reason, no practical reason for me to have all this, none at all. I just, I'm, I'm an enthusiast. I love learning about this kind of stuff, and I've learned quite a bit actually. Um, there are some, um, uh, so, so this all started basically when I, um, someone on YouTube, I'll put the, I can't remember who it was, uh, someone on YouTube said the, um, the Xeon 2670s uh, prices have crashed uh, in the sense that they were about a thousand, um, eleven hundred pounds, eleven hundred, yeah, eleven hundred pounds a few years ago, but now I bought um, two, two um, Xeons for 170 uh, yeah that's that's for both so 170 for both and I just couldn't resist and um, the board I got for um, um, from Amazon it was a second hand um, but man I, I got it for roughly 120 pounds less um, the retail price so that was a freaking bargain and obviously like I said earlier um, this water calling the EK L240 I got for just shy of hundred pounds. So everything is kind of secondhand and that kind of stuff. So not nothing really brand new um, because I wanted to do it on a budget. Anyway, I've waffled enough. Questions below. Um, I'll try my best to answer them, and if not, then I'll try and find out for you. Okay, guys. So um, like if you like, and if you dislike, then by all means do so. But tell me why you don't like it, please. That that really helps me out. Okay, guys. See you later. Bye.